I recently read an article talking about why the idea of being born gay is dangerous. I'm linking to the article. There are a lot of things wrong with the article. And there are some things that I do agree with, but I'll only deal with the key points. The author talks about gay people being proud of who they are and expressing this with the phrase, born this way. It's their explanation for why they engage in the behaviors that they do. He claims that this is dangerous because it promotes the idea of biological determinism. He goes on to repeatedly use phrases like the myth of biological determinism and the danger of biological determinism as if desperately trying to convince the reader of something. He draws parallels to the Nazis' use of science to justify their elimination of different races and says the only difference is that what we are doing is using science to embrace. He cites a study by Simon LeVay that showed that homosexual men had some brain patterns that were consistent with those of women. He does not provide any evidence to why this study might be wrong. In fact, he appears to agree with the findings. But he instead hinges on the fact that LeVay cautioned others that he has not discovered everything about the cause of homosexuality. And he would be he would be right. And he would be right. The study does not identify what is the all in all root cause of homosexuality, but it does highlight a possible biological factor. The writer goes on to say that biology is not the only determinant of behavior, but also social factors. He rants and raves all through the article, reiterating, restressing, and then concluding with this point. He spent well over 3,000 words to say that human behavior is both biologically and socially determined. To that I say, no shit. Seriously, this is not a revelation. Given his writing style, he seems to be under the impression that the only two kinds of people that exist are neo-Nazis and social justice warriors. Every scientist knows that life is influenced by its environment. This is one of the most basic characteristics of life, and it's the cornerstone of the theory of evolution. Society is just another product of the environment. But yet, he still felt it necessary to go on about the danger of biological determinism, as if to say, biology is evil, beware. Innate anatomy and the environment are inextricably linked, like space-time, under the umbrella of biology. It is simply incorrect to separate biology from environment. I will go into that more later. The author even goes as far as to say, and I quote, what concerns me as much as conservative condemnation of homosexuality is the credence liberals have given to a false idol of bad science. End quote. Just what about this is bad science? How does the scientific how does the scientific evidence point into the biological factors of homosexuality in any way qualify as bad science. It doesn't. You just don't like what it is telling you. Even though you acknowledge that biology is a factor in behavior, you do not like it. You do not like the fact that people are willing to admit that they have less autonomy because of their biology. You see, the author states that biology has influence, but then jumps through hoops to wave society 
in front of our faces as if to make us forget those bio-truths. He even fallaciously asserts that social factors are more important. But I understand why he does that. I understand why social justice warriors do it. They're afraid. They're afraid that biology will tell them things that they don't like and that they will have to do what it says. They're afraid of people using this for great evil, just like Nazis. The author basically says this several times in the article. I must give him credit, though, for going a step further than the typical SJW and actually admitting, albeit begrudgingly, that human biology affects human beings. I know, right? This seems to be a recurring aspect of human nature. Everyone loves science until it contradicts their ideology. As soon as this happens, the pseudoscientists come out of the woodwork in droves. Christians had little issue with physics until it started offering insight into the origin of the universe with the Big Bang Theory. They will come with great refutations like, if you weren't there, how can you know? Yeah. How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? SJWs will do exactly the same thing. Oh, those physics and math guys, they know what they're doing. Science is great. Science is awesome. But not those biology guys. No, they just spout their lame bio-truths and expect everyone to listen. This aspect of human nature is arguably where religion comes from in the first place. The desire for human beings to be more. The desire for a greater purpose. The belief in the soul comes from the same place that rejects any form of biological determinism. People want to believe that there is something mystical about the brain. They want to believe that anything we put our mind to, we can achieve. That our minds are an almighty power that we have complete control of. That we choose our destiny. But until science has any reason to believe otherwise, there is nothing magical about the human brain. The humbling reality that humans are animals vying for survival just like the ants we carelessly tread on is often overlooked. The brain is just a collection of atoms like almost everything else. There isn't much more significance to the process of a star exploding and shooting a gamma ray burst than to a human being choosing between left and right or blue and red. Both systems are just arrangements of particles brought together and acting by natural processes determined by the physical laws of the universe since its inception. People don't want to look at it this way, and I can understand why. It's a bit nihilistic. But just because science can't prove that there is anything special about life doesn't mean that it can't be special to us. Science doesn't need to tell us the meaning of life. We can decide that to be whatever we want. That isn't science's job. Consider this. If a scientist came up to you and said, you are an android, you are created as a scientific experiment, I can show you the x-rays to prove that your insides are mechanical and your brain is a computer. You are completely made in a laboratory, and you run on a complex operating system. You're nothing more than a glorified iPhone. Now I will deactivate you. What would you say? Would you say, well, I guess you're right. Since you just made me, I'm factually insignificant. Go ahead and deactivate me now. Or would you tell the scientist to fuck off because you don't care what he says? Your life is important to you and you aren't giving it up. Which brings me back to the article. 
when the author hears gay people say, I was born this way, he sees it as them giving up. He sees it as them saying that they are not better than their biology, that their magical brain isn't driving their actions like it should be. When instead, what he should be hearing is, I like what I like, so fuck off. Science is just trying to find the truth. It isn't authoritarian. That's it for now.